is the reason for the John 317 ministry. Amen. And if I can quote Brian Tucker again, it's because I'm so hung up on it. If all we were trying to do was get people sober so they could go to hell, we're doing them a disservice. If they're going to hell, they need to go drunk. <laughs> <laughs> so it's salvation that we're looking for, not sobriety. But they go together. And you can't understand God's love when you're loopy. you got to be a sound man. And so Lincoln is a sound man. Amen. I visited with her. I know she is. One thing, Lincoln, I would want to know. Do you believe Jesus? Yes, sir. He claimed to be God. Mm -hmm. He said, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. He claimed to have risen from the dead. Yep. You believe that? Yes, I do. You want to follow it? Yep. Do what he asked you to do? Yes, I do. Amen. Well, any reason I can think of, not to pass that you. Praise the Lord. And he said, do this in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Peter made the observation a couple of times. Once on the day of Pentecost, later when he wrote a letter about how that it saves, it's a part of the saving experience. Sins are forgiven. It's associated with forgiveness of sins. But it's based, its root is in the sacrifice of Jesus. Amen. Because he died. Because he rose again. Because of that resurrection. He could do that to me. Yeah. And so just like he was buried, we fix to bury you. <laughs> and then you're going to have their life just like he did. Isn't that good? <laughs> All right. Amen. Let me show you what. Let's hold that nose so we can get to burning on your nose. Put that hand right there. I'm going to baptize you and the Father, and God the Son, and all of the Holy Spirit. Right now. Woo-hoo! <laughs> <laughs>